Okay, the role of antibodies. Up until this point, you've already learned about the constant battle that's going on between pathogens and our own immune system. You've learned that pathogens have markers called antigens that help to identify what they are, and that our bodies make antibodies. Antibodies are the little proteins that our B lymphocytes make that will actually go and attach to the antigens from the bad guys. So I've got these little diagrams here. They're kind of cartoonish, but hopefully it makes some kind of sense. So here's a close-up look at what an antibody actually is. So one of the things that's kind of unclear for a lot of students, I didn't understand this when I was younger. I knew that antibodies were produced by us in order to fight the bad guys. But um, in this new syllabus, they've actually made very clear the expectation of the exact role that antibodies plays. So you have learned already that when a bad thing comes in, your body will make specific antibodies to that particular pathogen if the right chain reaction happens. And then you make, you know, uh, a clone of all the right types of B lymphocytes that are making the specific antibody that is going to fight that particular pathogen. So here's a close-up look at what antibodies are actually doing to help us fight off those pathogens. So firstly, if you look at the general structure of an antibody, there is a constant region right here, and then there's a variable region, and this is the part that gets cranked out by different types of um, B lymphocytes in order to create the variability to potentially fight off any type of pathogen that actually comes in. So, all right, so close-up look at an antibody, the structure of an antibody. Another way to say an antibody is immunoglobin, uh, sorry, immunoglobulin, but immunoglobin is also used as well too. So here's one way it works. These antibodies can actually attach to the little pathogens here and make them easier to identify. And then so that means these larger phagocytes can come and take them in and digest them and engulf them. Um, here's another one. When these little pathogens get surrounded by 10 tons of antibodies, it causes them to stick together or group together. It's called agglutination. And they can be more easily identified as big clumps. Uh, you know, So if you're in war, if you're trying to find out where the bad guys are, if you tie a bunch of them together, it's a lot easier to target them with an airstrike. Very dark analogy there. Here's another way. Viruses are another thing that can actually be modified a little bit. So these antibodies can actually stick to the viruses and prevent them from actually docking to the host cell. So if someone's coughing up uh, influenza virus in front of you, when that stuff gets into your actual mouth and tries to infect your throat cells, your antibodies can be sticking to the viruses and preventing them from doing their little um, enzyme-like lock and key mechanism where they, where they kind of uh, connect to receptors and then get into your throat cells and start replicating themselves like crazy. So the antibodies can actually bind to these viruses, so any of the proteins on the surface of it, and prevent it from actually entering. So that's one other way, a third way. Another thing that antibodies can do is they can actually bind to and neutralize the chemicals that are made by the actual pathogen themselves. So sometimes we get sick not from tons of bacteria, but we can get sick from the actual toxins that these bacteria are making. So you can neutralize those toxins using some of these antibodies. And one other final cool way is, here's a little drill here. It looks like it's going to poke some holes into these little bad guys, the little pathogens. So they can actually bind to pathogens and cause pores to form and then the pores can then therefore uh, mess up the membrane that it has that actually helps to keep its internal content separate from outside and then now it can't function as a properly balanced cell it can't maintain homeostasis anymore so that's a quick look at the roles of antibodies and how they actually help to keep you safe from pathogens